Today in our 2013 Nissan Quest, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Curt Class 3 trailer hitch receiver, part number C13078. This is what our hitch looks like when it's installed. You can see the cross tube is visible, however it does have a round tube design, so it's going to fit nicely with the contour of the vehicle. It's going to be a Class 3, it's going to be 2 inch by 2 inch. Your hitch pin hole is going to be 5 eighths inch in diameter. It is going to have a reinforced collar to give you a little extra stability on your receiver tube. It's going to have a plate style safety chain ring. Gives you plenty of room for different size safety chain hooks. As you can see it's nice and flush with the edge of the bumper fascia so you're not going to have to worry about hitting your legs or shins on it when loading and unloading the vehicle. You're going to have a 300 pound max tongue weight which is a downward pressure on the inside of the receiver tube. You'll have a 3,500 pound max trailer weight, which is the trailer plus the load included. Now I do recommend checking your owner's manual to make sure your vehicle can withstand that amount of weight. You're gonna to wanna to pick the lowest number between the vehicle and hitch. Now you can use weight distribution with this hitch. Tongue weight's gonna to go up to 500 pounds and trailer weight's gonna go up to 5,000 pounds. As far as the installation goes, it is a fairly simple install. It's gonna use existing holes in the frame. It's gonna come with all necessary hardware. Only thing I recommend is getting an extra set of hands to help lift the hitch into place. Now let's give you a few measurements to help you when deciding on any hitch mounted accessories you may need, such as a bike rack, ball mount, or cargo carrier. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost part of the bumper will be about two and a half inches. From the ground to the top innermost part of the receiver tube will be about 11 inches. Now it's a good idea to get a raised shank for better ground clearance. Now let me show you how to get this installed. First thing we need to do to start our installation is we need to get in the back of the vehicle. You need to pull up your floor pans here. We'll just flip them over. And what we need to do is on each side, right about here, we need to pull back the carpet just a little bit. You're gonna have two rubber plugs. You're gonna need to remove those. And you're gonna have the same thing on the other side of the vehicle. And you're gonna to wanna to hold on to those because we're gonna be reinstalling. On your driver's side, you're gonna have two bolts that you're gonna to have to remove. Now these are holding up your tow hook. We're using an 18 millimeter socket. Now here on our passenger side, you can see the two threaded holes here. You wanna make sure you clean those out. We'll just take some lubricant, spray it in there. Each hole. And we can take a, just a tube brush. Make sure you clean those threads out good. Once you get them cleaned out, take one of your bolts and you wanna thread it in the hole to make sure that you're not cross threading. And you're gonna to wanna to repeat this process on any of the holes that are gonna be open to the element that the hitch is gonna be uh, attached to. Now underneath the vehicle, we're gonna take out these two remaining bolts that are holding up our tow hook. Because the bolt was not coming loose, I don't want to take a chance to use the power tool to, st to start removing it. I don't want it to strip out or break off. So I used a regular wrench to loosen it, and I'll go back to the power tool to take it out. And then we'll set this aside. We will not be reinstalling this. Now with an extra set of hands, we'll get a hitch into position. You're gonna take one of your hex bolts, conical tooth washer, you wanna make sure that the teeth of the washer are facing up toward the hitch. Next, using a 19 millimeter socket, we'll tighten down our four bolts on the bottom of our hitch. You got two on your passenger side and two on your driver's side. And then we're gonna repeat that same process on the other side. Now here in the back of the vehicle, where we took out our rubber plugs, we're gonna do that same process. Again, hex bolt, conical tooth washer, teeth facing toward the hitch. Now we can go ahead and tighten these down and then install the two on our passenger side. Once you have all your hardware installed, torque everything down to specifications and the instructions. Now we're gonna reinstall the rubber plugs that we took out. We're gonna repeat that 
on the remaining three holes, and then we can tuck our carpet back in place. Now we can put our floor panels back in place. Once you have your floor panels back in place, you're ready to hit the road. That'll do it for a look at an installation on the Curt Class 3 trailer hitch receiver, part number C13078 on our 2013 Nissan Quest.